Yo, what's up, Lee Jim Beast, Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. So today, I've got an awesome, awesome video for you guys showing you how to create some incredibly powerful automations and workflows uh, that are based around not just the score that somebody gets uh, after they complete one of our quizzes, but also the answers that they provide to the questions throughout the quiz. We're able to create some really, really customized follow-up after somebody completes the quiz guys that's why i'm such a huge advocate of uh, having quizzes within your marketing they are incredibly powerful marketing assets both for lead generation and lead conversion getting people to move forward in your sales process it's a great way to gather uh, uh important information about uh, prospects leads etc uh, but this particular video is going to show you how to create the follow-up for all of that based on their answers and the score that they get at the end of the quiz. So this is basically a follow up to another video I did uh, months ago. I've been waiting on a specific part of the quizzes feature in high level to come out. It's finally released. So hence the, the delay in, in getting this video out to you guys. But I did another video walking you through step by step how to build the quiz using AI um, inside of high level. So if you need that, if you need to get the quiz built, um, I'll link that down in the description or you can leave a comment just requesting it and I will send it to you. All right. So make sure you get the quiz built because um, this this video is all about creating that really powerful customized follow up based on their answers and their score to the quiz. All right. So make sure you stick to the end. Get this stuff implemented guys because it can be very very powerful and of course um, if you don't have high level and you want to support the channel assuming you find value in this video uh, then I will have a uh, an affiliate link to high level it gives you a 30-day free trial plus a high level boot camp as well so make sure you take advantage of that if you're not currently using high level so where I want to start is uh, showing you guys the quiz that I have put together just to do a quick refresher and then I'll show you how to put these automations in place. So this is, I, I created a quiz for my other brand, Millennial Wealth Creator. It's basically uh, another YouTube channel I started sharing my wealth building journey using infinite banking, real estate lending and income ETFs, Bitcoin, all this stuff. It's a lot of fun. Um, so what I decided to do was uh, create a quiz that would help people determine whether or not infinite banking is right for them or if they're ready for it. Because uh, it's a very powerful strategy when done correctly, of course. But um, it's definitely not for everybody. So I put a quiz together and um, I used a little bit of AI to help me put it all together as well. That's in the other training. All right. And most of these are uh, pretty, pretty easy questions. I mean, they're all uh, most of them are multiple choice. Right. And I'm just I'm gauging their interest, their knowledge, their, you know, like different financial uh, philo or ph philosophy they have around different financial ideas, concepts, strategies, et cetera. Right, just kind of seeing where they're at. Uh, all right, they can check a couple of these, you know, based off of what they're looking to use Infinite Banking for, right? And then from there, I'm going to get their name, email, and phone number. I'll just uh, type this in really quick. Just blur this out for privacy purposes, of course. So just bear with me. All right, we'll get name, email, phone number. You can get, uh, I mean, really whatever contact information you want. I just want to show you guys the the results page here afterwards. So once they complete the quiz, they're going to get a readiness score and based off the color. So in this particular case, they're almost ready for something like infinite banking. And then down here, I have a customized message uh, letting them know, looks like you're close to being ready. You've got the right ingredients. Um, here's the next step. And I've got a, a playlist of videos teaching them about infinite banking. And, um, you know, and you can customize all of the calls to action, all, you can customize the results page based off of their score, guys. It's, it's just incredibly powerful, right? So this could be an, a link to an appointment calendar, a link to a sales page, whatever, a webinar. It's totally up to you where you th what you think is the next best step for this person based off of their readiness score, right? So really, really powerful stuff. And I'll just show you that. Uh, like, So we're in sites. Go to quizzes. These are my quizzes right now. All right, so if we open this up, I just want to show you that results page because the workflow triggers are all going to be based on the uh, the the results page here. Basically, it's the, the the scoring tier. All right, so up here at the top right, I can configure score tiers, and you can add as many as you want. I've got three right now, and you can give the score percentage either a range or a certain amount from and upwards, whatever. So this one is from zero to thirty nine. Th that puts them in the not ready category, and then almost definitely you can add more tiers. Um, you know, so it's, yeah, it's, it's really freaking awesome. All right. So once you have the, uh, the, the score tiers in place, now we can start to put these automations in place. So we're going to go to automation on the sidebar here, 
And up at the top right, you're going to click on create new workflow. I'm just going to pull up the one that I already have just to save a little bit of time, but you would create workflow, start from scratch. All right, so I'm going to open up IBC quiz here. All right. And uh, so this first one is all based on their score. And then I'm going to show you how to create a workflow based off of some of the answers that they provide in the quiz. That's where you can get very, very customized with your follow-up. All right, but uh, the first thing that we need to do is add our triggers. Now, I already have mine here, but um, let me just show you how to get here. All right, so we're going to click Add New Trigger. All right, you can type in Quiz, Quiz Submitted. And right here, you're going to choose Is. The, the operator is Is. And then uh, let me move myself out of the way here. And then we're going to choose the quiz here. All right, we're going to add a filter. This is very important, right? Because uh, we, we want to base it on their uh, their quiz score. All right, so we're going to first do, so my first one was from 0 to 39. So uh, for the first one, I'm going to choose less than or equal to 39. All right, that's for my first here. Now, I can't save this because I already have uh, I already have this trigger in place. I don't think it's going to let me save it. Uh, probably get an error. Yep, I already have it. All right, but... Um, your, your trigger would show up right here. That's basically what this one is right here. A score of 39 or less. And also make sure, guys, uh, that you are giving your workflow triggers names so that you can uh, stay organized and see very easily which one is which in case you need to make changes later. All right. Um, so we did the not ready. Almost ready was the range, which is this is the part of the quizzes feature that I was waiting for that they didn't have uh, initially. So thank you, High Level, for coming out with this and getting this added because I think this is very important. So we're going to choose the same quiz obviously. Now, for almost ready, remember it had that range of between uh, between 40 and 79, All right? So this, the quiz score, because uh, uh, originally this was not here. It is available now, which is freaking awesome. That's It opens up so much opportunity for us here. All right, so we're going to choose between 40 and 79. That was for almost ready. You would save trigger. I can't do it right now because I already have it. And then the last trigger would be, again, quiz submitted is and then we would do the last one in my case it was definitely ready and that was with a score of greater than or equal to 80 okay and those are my triggers all right so make sure you get them named get those added and for the actions i like to get the basics out of the way first so we're probably going to want to add a tag uh, mine was just completed ibc readiness quiz yours could be completed xyz quiz whatever the name is all right and you would just click the plus sign Type in tag in the search box, add contact tag. And if you don't already have a tag, you can just type it in and click add new tag right here. Save action. You're good to go. All right. Maybe you want to send this person to a specific stage in your pipeline for your sales team. All right. Maybe this is uh, obviously a much hotter lead. You know, so if you let's say you're running Facebook ads, we do a lot of Facebook ads in my marketing agency and you're generating leads, you know, free lead magnet, whatnot. So maybe you already have name, email, and phone number, but then uh, they get one of your emails or maybe the next step in your funnel is to take that quiz after they've submitted the initial form. Okay, well, wouldn't you want to know that you've generated a lead, but that lead has also provided a lot more information by going through this quiz? That's a, a much, much hotter lead if you ask me. So what you could do is, one, you could send an internal notification to yourself or a sales team, uh, part of your uh, sales team. If you want them to give the person a call right away, you can send all different types of internal notifications here. So send internal notification. We can do an email. We can send an SMS, WhatsApp notification right inside a high level, right? So you could send those internal notifications. You can also update your pipeline stage. So let's type in, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, uh, create slash update opportunity. And right here, you can just select your pipeline. So I've got infinite banking. I don't think I have a stage for this, but let's say this one right here was uh, IBC quiz completed, right? Uh, I could have a pipeline or a stage in my pipeline specifically for people that have completed the quiz. So the, the sky's the limit on what you can do here. Now, um, I also have uh, some Facebook actions here as well. This is, um, I would say it's like more advanced, but there's extra steps involved because you have to get the access token from your Facebook ads account and you have to create a custom audience and stuff. It's worth it. It's absolutely worth it if you guys are running Facebook ads. If you want um, a step-by-step -step training on like more in-depth detail on how to use these, let me know in the comments because I've already done training on this, like using the, F, uh, the Facebook conversions API. This is really powerful because this sends data right back directly to our Facebook ads pixel 
making it smarter, thus uh, optimizing our ad campaigns that much better. All right. So this is communic This one's communicating directly with my Facebook pixel or data set uh, is what it's called now. This actually adds uh, everybody that completes my quiz to a custom audience inside of my Facebook ads manager automatically. It adds them uh, automatically. And then I can run retargeting ads or create lookalike audiences as well. <laughs> Tell me uh, that ain't that ain't powerful, guys. That's just ridiculous. Now, those are some of the basics that we want to put inside of the the workflow but here's where we start to get really gr uh, granular based off of the score all right and in the next work workflow i'm going to show you how to create workflows uh, and follow up i'm sorry uh, based on specific answers to questions right but these we want to make sure we have specific um follow-up going out based on their score all right so i've got uh, basically, all, what I have right now, and we, you can add so much more to this, obviously, is I just have a simple email that goes out that talks about like where they're at in their journey with Infinite Banking, uh, kind of reiterating what I said on the results page after they complete it, but just sending a follow-up email about it. Um, now, in order to create this, we need an if-else condition here. All right, so once you have all the basic actions in place, what you're gonna wanna do is click the plus sign and we're gonna use the if else action or not, hello, if, okay, there we go. All right, so just type in if in the search box, there it is, if else, I'm actually gonna cancel it so it doesn't uh, screw, screw everything up. Uh, I'm just gonna show you mine, but that's the action that you would select, okay? And this is what it will start to look like here. All right, mine's already customized, but, um, you're going to, uh, the first branch I made ready score of 80. And then what you're going to do is for the, uh, for the trigger itself here. All right. The first part is going to be a workflow trigger is quiz submitted score of 80. And then you're going to add another branch, right? Right here. Okay. So below these different branches, you're always going to have an option to add another branch, right? In my case, I'm going to have three total branches that I need to add, right? So I've added one for, and you're gonna add one for each one of your workflow triggers. So workflow trigger is this, all right? Add branch, all right? Workflow trigger is this one, score between 40 and 80, they're almost ready. And then one for not ready, okay? So I've got three branches there. And make sure that you are naming them again so that you can stay organized. That's, uh, that's what you see right here, all right? So once you have that, save it. This is what it will look like. You'll have none over here, but that that doesn't really apply to us because the only way that people go through this is if they have if they fit one of these criteria here all right now once you have that if else condition in place the sky is kind of the limit for you uh, at that point at, at how detailed you want to get with your follow-up based off of their score so i'm just sending emails right now you could send text messages um also there's a really cool feature where we can uh we can create a contact engagement score i did a entirely separate uh, training video on that as well if you want me to send it to you let me know in the comments this is really powerful i think uh let's see if we type in engagement yeah okay here we go so modify contact engagement score obviously somebody that one completes the quiz probably uh you know needs some engagement points there but um if you want to again notify different parts of your sales team or yourself when somebody is like really qualified for your product or service using the quiz to get gather information ask questions etc uh and and based off of their score uh is really powerful way to create a higher engagement score so that you know that like this lead basically goes to the top of the list right because they meet uh so much of our criteria here all right so you can modify their their engagement score we can add additional points here like there, there's so much that you can do here, guys. Um, but I wanted to give you the infrastructure, like the framework for creating this. You can add whatever actions you want. Um, I just want to show you how to actually get this in place. All right. So that's the first workflow based off of their score. But what if we want to send follow up content based off of specific answers that they provide in the quiz? Guys, this is crazy. This is so freaking powerful. Let me show you how to do that. And it's actually not even it's not even that difficult. So one of the things that I show you how to do in the other training when I'm going through how to build the quiz is you're going to create custom fields for all the questions that you're asking in the, in the quiz. That allows us to actually create custom workflows based off of the answers within those custom fields, guys. It's freaking crazy. All right, so you would just create another workflow from scratch. That's what I have here. 
was playing around with this earlier. I was like, holy smokes, guys, this is just crazy. <laughs> How, uh, how detailed and personalized we can get with this stuff. All right, so here's the new trigger. What we're going to do is, uh, let's see, it's, I think it's contact updated. Contact changed is the workflow trigger that we want. Okay, so contact change, add filter. Let me move over here again. All right, and we're going to find the custom fields that you want to create the workflows for. Um, probably, I don't know, I guess it depends on how detailed you want to get and how many questions you have in the quiz, you might not want to create a workflow for every single um, question within your quiz, but maybe you do. I don't know. You know it just depends on how detailed you want to get. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to actually create it here. Uh, this was one of my questions within my quiz. I asked them how much you're able to comfortably save on a monthly basis. And uh, so we're going to select that custom field. And then we're going to choose has changed to because that's going to allow us to select a specific answer that they provided look at this guys so imagine so I've got this quiz all right where I'm asking somebody how much they could save on a monthly basis don't you think I'd probably want to know the difference uh, like, like know that like the difference between two leads where one has less than three hundred dollars per month to save and a lead that has a thousand dollars per month or more to save Yes, absolutely. It's a very different type of lead and a very uh, that that needs to be communicated with in a very different way. They're they're uh, in, in a much different part or phase of their journey. So we need to meet them where they're at. Right. So let's say that, you know, like in this case, let's say they're making less than three hundred dollars per month. Right now, this, they're probably not a good fit for infinite banking at the moment, but that doesn't mean I can't send them. Uh, material and co educational content and other tools, training, resources, maybe different products. Like maybe you know, check out this book or this masterclass or my Millennial Wealth Creator University training that will get you to where you need to be to implement infant banking. Like the the sky's the limit, guys. So um, at this point, what I can do? So uh, what I said, le less than three hundred dollars per month. So next, I would want to ask myself, like, okay what do I want to send this person? And we're just, we would follow the same exact process here with all of the actions, guys. You know, maybe maybe I add a specific tag. Maybe I move them to a different part of the pipeline. Uh, you know, uh, I'm gonna obviously send different types of emails. So I'm gonna have a very uh, specific type of email sequence that sends specific types of tools, training, resources, products, et cetera. Right. So hopefully you can see the power in that. I'm not going to go through all the actions here because like every business is different. You can add whatever the heck you want uh, for the actions. Um, my goal, like I said, with this video was to give you guys the framework on how to create uh, to, to start setting up these automations so that they actually work. And then you can add whatever type of follow up content that you want, guys. It is insanely powerful. So. Really good stuff, uh, in my opinion. Anyways, I'm really excited about it. So, you know, I'll uh, continue to make some videos as I develop these more, uh, you know, advanced workflows and stuff like that. So make sure you, you guys subscribe. But I hope this was helpful. What do you guys think about this stuff? I think this is incredibly powerful. Uh, I highly recommend implementing something like a quiz and then just putting these workflows together uh, in your business because it can make a huge difference, guys. So uh, drop some feedback down below. Let me know what you guys think. And of course, if you, ha uh, if you have any questions, let me know any other videos you want me to create. All right, drop those down in the comments as well. Hope you guys are crushing it and I will talk to you in the next one. To your success, Matty Ice is out.